Hi, I am Emily Cabral and I took Bio 7 with Mr. Heishman. So this is my video for the project for the G assessment. The question I'm going to be answering today is how did this class change and or inform your understanding of diversity and global interdependence? So one example I'm going to be using today is climate change. Climate change is something that I have known about for a few years ever since it started. I've seen it on the news and I believe it's a true thing. Climate change is when the sun is getting hotter and the radiation doesn't end up going into the space and it just doesn't have enough room. The heat has nowhere to go. It just comes back over here. So the fact that our president doesn't believe in climate change definitely is concerning for me and my classmates because this is our environment and we want to preserve it as much as we can. We are only so young and we want to make sure our future is beneficial. For the rest so that's one of my reasons my second reason is going to be about carbon footprinting i honestly never knew anything about carbon and how bad it was for our environment until this class so carbon is a chemical that isn't good for the environment it's in hairspray it's in everything we do once we transport it once we build it it's in everything. It's in the water with ocean acidification. That's how oceans get acidified because of the carbon. So that's something I never knew about before. And I definitely want to take more precaution with reducing, recycling, and just letting more people know about it because it's another way to make sure our future can be better for everyone and everyone else. And also, I just didn't know it was affected in so many things in food and transporting and traveling everything so I really didn't know about that and a third example I was gonna go over was how much our oceans are being polluted and no one is really saying much about it and no one really cares so a lot of people don't know that the more we catch wildlife wise it's ruining our oceans and we're not going to have enough fish later on. So I think it would be best if we just did GMO ones and we did the farm raised so that way we would have more and we wouldn't be killing the habitats in the ocean. So that's another thing I'm really worried about because yes it is more expensive sometimes to get organic but I mean we have to preserve what we have now because we don't know what we're going to have in the future. And yeah, those are my three reasons. Thank you.